Hey guys, Brett here, and today I'm taking a look at a new WordPress plugin called Social Neos. So what exactly is Social Neos? Well, it is a WordPress plugin that is designed to allow you to lock content on your WordPress site. And by lock content, I mean that the content is not viewable and is not accessible until the user takes a desired action. And this desired action can be any of a range of things. It can be opting into an email form, it could be logging in with Facebook, which will get you their email address and also allow you to send them Facebook notifications from within the plugin. Or it could be something as simple as just liking the page, uh, G plusing the page, or tweeting about the page. Now, before I get into the plugin too much, I want to explain exactly why I got interested in this plugin in the first place. So we've all heard of squeeze pages before. Squeeze pages are one of the most tried and true ways of building your list. You give somebody a freebie in exchange for an opt-in. And this is actually one of my squeeze pages. I actively send traffic to this squeeze page and it converts really well. Uh, if we go over to my Aweber account, we can see this very first one here. This is actually the stats for that particular squeeze page that I just showed you. And you can see it's been shown 754 times and it got me 448 opt-ins. So that's 448 new people added to my list completely for free. So we know squeeze pages are, work well, but there's also a pretty major problem with squeeze pages. There's actually a couple of problems with them. Okay, so the first problem is you actually have to be able to make a squeeze page. But not only do you have to be able to make a squeeze page, but you also have to be able to make a thank you page that delivers your content. So when people opt in here, they enter their email address. It then takes them over to another page that I custom created by hand, uh, just like this. Uh, this looks like a pop-up or something like that, but it's not. It's actually just a web page that I made that's designed to look like that. Um, and then they go over to the thank you page and then they get their free content in exchange for the opt-in. Well, you have to be able to make both of those pages. And for people who are not designers and they're not coders, that's going to be a bit of a problem for them. But there are, uh, you know, page builders that will allow you to do this if you're not a coder and if you happen to own one of them. But that doesn't solve some of the other problems with squeeze pages. The first problem that it doesn't solve is that there's no content on this page. What I don't get any organic traffic at all to this. The only traffic that actually goes to this squeeze page is the people that I drive through PPC ads or through deals that I make with other marketers. Those are the only traffic that ever goes to this page. You know, I don't get any organic traffic because there's no content here for Google to, to index. This is not what Google wants to see in a website. Google wants to see a website with a decent amount of content. The second problem with this is if people aren't interested in this offer, they just bounce away, they close the site, and I lose them forever. I don't have anything for those people that come that don't opt in. You know, going back over to Aweber, I got like 450 opt-ins. It was converting at like 60%, which is really good. But that also means that 40% of the traffic that came to this page, they're completely wasted. I lost them forever. The most ideal thing to do would be to be able to put this inside of a post in my blog. And the reason being, my blog gets organic traffic, my blog has content that Google can index, so that way I will also get traffic besides the PPC ads that I'm sending here. I'll get organic traffic and I will get opt-ins completely for free from the organic traffic that goes to my blog. And also, even if people, like, they don't opt into the squeeze page or they're not interested in it, they might browse around my blog. They might look at the rest of my blog and become a customer or maybe buy a product that I'm promoting or maybe, you know, decide they want, they like my blog and come back later. You know, with this, there's no organic traffic at all and there's no chance that people can browse around because this is the only thing that's on the page. Either they opt in or they leave and I've lost them. So for this reason, the ideal thing is to put this on my blog. Now, my first thought to do this was going to be to use a pop-up software. There are a lot of pop-up softwares out there. There are some that I actually use. The problem with pop-up software, though, is that it could be closed. Pop-up software always has that little close button on the upper right-hand side here that allows you to close the pop-up. Well, that's not really what you want. What you want is to be able to lock content and only let people be able to see it when they opt in. You don't want them to be able to just close the whole opt-in form and just you know make it go away. You know That's kind of the opposite of a squeeze page. 
What you want is to present them with the opportunity to enter their email address so that they can get access to free content. Now this opt-in is more along the lines of what is ideal. This is an opt-in that is built right inside of my blog. Uh, you know, it has an opt-in form, it's getting organic traffic, and even when I send PPC ads, even the people that don't opt-in, uh, they're on my blog. So they browse around, they become a visitor, they might buy something on my review site. They're not just lost people because I'm not sending traffic to a squeeze page where the only thing they can do is sign up I'm sending traffic to my blog where even if they don't sign up, well, at least I got a visitor to my blog. It's not just lost traffic. Now, I created this particular opt-in form by hand. I had my graphics designer create the nice background for me, and I hand-coded all of the code myself. Now, this is something that's going to be out of reach for a lot of people because a lot of people don't know coding well enough to hand-code their own form like this. This is why I became interested in the Social Neos plugin, because it allows people to do exactly what I've been wanting to do, which is put my squeeze pages inside of my blog, where people can opt in to get a free gift, I can build a list, and I can also send PPC ads to that squeeze page in my blog. This way, if people don't opt in, you know, even if you're getting a 60% opt in, that still means 40% of the people aren't opting in. Well, they're not just lost traffic because they're at least on my blog, they're at least where I want them to be. Social Neos allows the non coder to be able to do what I had to do by hand. So let me show you exactly how it works. As soon as you log into your WordPress admin, you go over to the Social Neos plugin and you're gonna see a screen that looks similar to this. The very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go over to the Profiles tab. And this is going to allow you to link your social profiles and your autoresponders. As of now, this integrates with Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and G+. It also integrates with GetResponse, MailChimp, Aweber, and iContact. Now, if you use the login with Facebook option, you can also send people notifications as well as post to their timeline when they sign up for your list. This is really cool for viral nature, but to be honest with you, I was mostly interested in having an autoresponder form that they can opt into. So I was interested in the ad autoresponder sections. I use Aweber, and in order to integrate my Aweber account, all I had to do was click on the Aweber link there, and then paste in some of my Aweber form code, which I generated on the Aweber website. Click on the Save button, and now I have Aweber integrated with this plugin. The next thing you're going to do is create a campaign. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on the campaign tab. It's going to ask me for the name of the campaign and it's going to ask for the action that I want. Now there are two choices in the action. There is the opt-in and there is the social. The social is the login with Facebook or the, you know, the G+, the, the LinkedIn, the Twitter. Those are the social options. And if they use the login with Facebook, as I said, you can also send them Facebook notifications as well as have a post automatically made to their timeline. For me, I'm more interested in the opt-in. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the opt-in. It's going to ask me what kind of content I want to make a lock for. I want to make a lock for video content. If I want to, I can also lock text content, but I'm more interested in video content anyway, just because video content is the content of choice on the internet. So I'll go ahead and click on the video link there. And from here, I get to build my lock. There are going to be a bunch of different options, and I can see a little bit of a live preview right here. The only thing I didn't like about this live preview is that it doesn't actually show your video. It just shows this like generic video, uh, you know, for demonstration. But everything else is live preview. So if I go ahead and change the background at all, it will also change in the preview there. The lock that you create is completely customizable. It comes with a whole bunch of different background graphics, textures, and colors that you can use. Or you can even upload your own if you want to have a background that's for branding. You can add a border to it if you like. And again, it is fully customizable with the color and even the border thickness. You can add your own custom body text. And this text is going to show right above the opt-in form.
And this, of course, is WYSIWYG Editor, so I can go ahead and edit the format, the font size, anything that I want. And it will all preview in the live preview down below here. Finally, I can customize the opt-in itself. So if I want to, for example, change the button text and the button color, I can go up here and just edit the button text and the button color. So you can see this is very customizable. The only thing I don't particularly like about it is how you have to keep scrolling up and down in order to be able to see the preview. I thought it would be a little bit better if they were kind of like a side-by-side, -side, uh, but I understand that there is a lot of options here, and it might not have fit in a side-by-side -side view. I, I just I do think it is kind of a pain that you have to keep scrolling up and down to see the preview and everything. But despite that, I did find this to be easy to use and extremely customizable. So you can have it exactly the way you want it. Once you have everything set up the way you want, just click on the Get Short Code button in the lower right-hand corner, and this will save your lock. Now, this doesn't actually give you the Short Code button. Uh, this button should actually be called the Save button, but they, for some reason, they named it the Get Short Code button. But what it does is it actually saves the lock that you just created. So I'll go ahead and click on that. Oops, I forgot to enter a name, so I'll call it Brett's second test and I'll go ahead and click on the get short code button and you can see it actually says the campaign has been successfully created and it takes me back to the dashboard where I can now get my short code so I'm gonna go ahead right here I'm gonna copy this short code right here and I'll go over and create a new post all right so here we are we're on a new post and you can see I entered a little bit of a post headline here I've entered my YouTube video code. I did that by using the text section. I just entered the iframe code. And I wrapped the iframe code with the social neos short code. So I have it opening here and I have it closing there. So I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm going to save this. And let's go over and view the post. Okay, so here we are looking at the post. Now, I'm only on a testing blog right now, but you can see how this is definitely going to be better than just sending people to a squeeze page. This is, in essence, a squeeze page now. You can see my headline, you can see my opt-in form, and when people opt in with their name and email address, it will let them view the content, it'll let them view the free training video. But the good thing about this is that makes it better than a regular squeeze page is that since this is on a blog, Google can index this content. So not only will I get the PPC traffic that I normally drive to my squeeze page, but I'll also get the free organic traffic that Google is sending because Google is indexing this page as it indexes the blog. Also, for the PPC traffic that I send, those people that do not opt in, that choose not to put their name and email address in, they're not just lost traffic because at least I have them on my blog where I want them anyway. So let me go ahead here and enter my name and my email address and we'll check it out. I'll click on the sign up now button. And you can see now the content is unlocked and they can view the training content. Now, I just use one of my review videos as an example, but in a live squeeze page, I would actually use a real video training. So what do I think of the Social Neos plugin overall and who do I think it's going to be good for? Well, there are a couple of things that I didn't like about the Social Neos plugin. The first thing that I didn't like is that there was no help built into the plugin itself. It does have this support link. So if you need help, you can click on this support and you can go over to the ticket system and you can put in a support ticket. But I kind of wish that it would have had you know some tutorial videos built right into it. Especially if you're going to use the login with Facebook option which I didn't show in this video this does have a login with Facebook option that's going to require you to set up a Facebook app and I wish there was a little bit of training on that built right into the plugin now I did speak to Martin Crumlish about this and he did say he's going to look into putting help right inside the plugin but as of now as I'm testing it it doesn't have any at all 
But honestly, I wasn't particularly interested in the login with Facebook option anyway, uh, because there are other softwares that will allow you to log in with Facebook. What I was interested in is the fact that you can lock content and basically turn a blog post into a squeeze page. And I like that because now you can get organic traffic to your opt-in form, as opposed to a normal squeeze page where Google will never ever send you any organic traffic because normal squeeze pages are the exact opposite of what Google wants to see. They have no content, they have nothing for Google to index. I also like the fact that since you're putting the squeeze page inside of a blog post, you can use PPC ads. In my case, I'll actually be using Facebook ads to send traffic to the squeeze page inside of a blog post. And even the people that don't opt in, well, at least they're not tr lost traffic because they at least are on your blog, which is where you want them anyway. So who do I think this is going to be good for? I think it's going to be good for anybody that has a blog or a WordPress website. When you have a blog or a WordPress site, there's generally two things that you're interested in doing. The first thing is something you should be doing no matter what is building a list. The second thing is you want to get traffic to your site. With this, you're actually able to do both at the same time. You're in essence getting a two for one on your PPC campaigns. You're not just running an ad to a squeeze page and then hoping that somehow you can redirect them over to your blog later. And you're not just running an ad to your blog and then hoping somehow you can you know, get them to opt in. You're actually doing both. You're running to an ad to a squeeze page that's built into your blog. Add to that the fact that you can now get organic traffic to the squeeze page since it's inside of a blog post. And I think this plugin is a definite winner and a solid investment. I can assure you that I will be using this plugin on my own blog. And because of that, I suggest that anybody with a WordPress blog and who is also looking to build a list, strongly consider Social Neos. Thank you and enjoy.